Hey guys and welcome to this video. In this video I want to show you how I created this cutout effect in Illustrator. Now I've also done the same effect in Photoshop. I will uh, place the uh, link in the description box so you can check that out and then you can decide on which program you're more comfortable using to create this effect. It's very simple and very easy so let's get started. I'm going to start out by writing the word cut I mean, I'm using a thick font face. You can use whichever one you like. Um, and for the purpose of this video, I'm going to rush through this. Um, I'm going to select the, the, the font, the, the, the text I wrote, and then right click and click on Create Outline. Then I'm going to hold down the shift and pull the size, sides out just to make it a little bigger, like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Align tool here. Um, and make the separation so where I want to make the cut uh, where the separation is going to happen I'm just going to go about there make sure the color of the uh, line is black then I'm going to select all of it the font and the line right click and group now what I'm going to do is to make this cut or to make the separation I've got to make these into shapes so I'm going to use the shape builder tool click on the top sections and that's it there. Now I'm going to um, select it all and right click and ungroup. Now you can see there are the top section. I'm going to highlight, select them together and move them out. Now don't move them out too much where you can't you know, read the words or tell what the word is like that. Now I'm going to group them together just to keep them together. So right click and group. I'm going to change the color to a red. Select the bottom part. And I'm going to change that color to maybe a, a yellow. Now to create that little uh, overlay of color, I'm going to select the top. Command copy or control copy, then command V or control V depending if you're using a Mac or PC. Just move it uh, anywhere you like. And I'm going to change that color to a uh, green. And in the transparency dialog box, I'm going to change the blending mode to a darken. And that's what it looks like there. Again, I'm going to copy the bottom section, Command Copy, Control Copy, then Command V or Control V. Move it anywhere you like on top of it. Change the color to, on that to a purple and change the blending mode to a darken. And you can see the darken sections there. That's it, guys. I um, That's easy, simple, quick. I hope you got something out of that. Um, don't forget to comment below and tell us what your thoughts are. Also, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. It will really help uh, in YouTube. And also consider uh, subscribing to my channel for, and, uh, for, more, for more videos like this to come out soon. Thanks for watching, guys.